Hey guys, welcome back to Arcade Pickers. My name is Corey Massal. I thank you for watching today. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dragon's Lair. Now a lot of you guys know that Arcade 1UP is coming out with the Dragon's Lair very soon, probably this summer. But some of you guys want to play this game sooner or you might not want to pony up and buy a miniature arcade. You might want it on a full size arcade. So today we're going to look at how to get Dragon's Lair, how to set it up and play it on your arcade cabinet. So let's get right to this. Here we go! So some of you probably saw Arcade Pickers Episode 1 where at Flynn's place I grabbed the Dragon's Lair converted to a choplifter cabinet which started this whole adventure for me to figure out how to play Dragon's Lair. Now as you know it runs on a laser disc player and these big laser discs that you put in to play the game which can be very difficult not only to find but also to fix and upkeep while you're playing the game. So I found a way to work around that and play this on your arcade or your arcade one up right at home. So I want to get into that. Now there's a few things that you're going to need in order to make this work. The first thing is you're going to need an SJ at JX encoder. This will tell your arcade or I'm sorry tell your PC that your joysticks and your buttons are the same as an Xbox Microsoft controller which is very important to play this game. You're also going to need a copy of Dragon's Lair Trilogy, which I'll put the link in the description for that. It's only a $20 game. It will play Dragon's Lair, Dragon's Lair 2, and Space Ace all on the same disc. Now, there's also some specs that you'll need for the PC that you need to play this. I'm going to put the specs also in the link to the description for this so you know exactly what to get, but you shouldn't need a very expensive computer to do this. And then you're also just going to need an arcade cabinet. So it might be an arcade one-up. It might be a regular arcade cabinet. In this case, I used the original Dragon's Lair cabinet, which we'll take a look at in a minute and show you how that looks on the cabinet now that it's completed. That way, once you have it all set up, you're ready to play. You can add your artwork, you can add your marquee, and enjoy your very own Dragon's Lair cabinet right at home. So as many of you guys know, Dragon's Lair is a pretty cool game. Now let's take a look at the game for starters for those of you that maybe haven't played it yet. So the game Dragon's Lair is pretty straightforward. It's basically one of the old Disney animators that left Disney, decided to come out with his own game and did all the animation for this game. Now you can actually set this up to where all you have to do is push up, down, left, right, action or start to control the game and it's basically a cartoon that plays out a lot of you guys already know this but for the few that don't it's just a cartoon that plays out and you hit up down left right or action to pro to um, progress the character through the game same thing with dragon's lair 2 same thing with space ace but guys it's a really really fun game that actually came out with a really small version of this game a replicate which some people bought it's really, really hard to get now and really expensive. So this is just a way to work around that and play this game on your arcade one up or arcade at home. So the cool thing about this, you guys, is that once you get this SJ at JX encoder, what you're going to do is hook up your buttons and your joystick to this encoder, and then it's going to plug right into your computer with the USB port. Now, the cool thing is, is you're going to download this program called Joy, the number two key. So J-O-Y, number two, K-E-Y. It's a free program for Mac or for Windows. Now, what that allows you to do is you can actually go in and push the according button up down left right action or start and it will show you which key that is you simply highlight that key and now the key thing about this that I found out was when you push up you're gonna to want to set that to the number two when you push left you're gonna to want to set that to four when you push right you're gonna to want to set that to the number six and when you push down you're gonna to want to set that to the number eight and then when you hit your action button you want to set that to the spacebar key and then I went ahead and set the start button up to enter. And then I had a coin button on there, which I sent to escape in case you want to leave the game. But that's basically all you need, guys. So once you have that set up, you just simply hook it up to your monitor with an HDMI port, hook up your audio to the speakers, to the, either the PC or the monitor, and then you can get on with your artwork and that's all you need to do it. So I actually already have this set up. So I wanna show you guys exactly what this looks like running on the PC so that you can see if you wanna maybe do this for yourself at home. And I know some of you guys are waiting for the arcade one-up and that's great, but for me, 
I'm six foot seven, so I really wanted to play this game, but I really didn't want to go up to an arcade one up on a really tiny machine and play this. So that's why I ponied up and bought that old Dragon's Lair cabinet from Flynn so I could get this working on a full size cabinet. Once I've played it for a while, I will definitely be selling it to one of the viewers of the show on the website. So let's go take a look at this game and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so you guys can see that I'm at my Dragon's Lair cabinet and I wanted to show you guys a little bit what the gameplay looks like. So I'm just gonna hit the start button and we're gonna start the game. And then you guys see it'll go to this like, let me adjust the camera here. It'll go to this kind of like loading screen. You can see I can move up and down the menu with the joystick. I'm gonna hit play game. And then we're gonna go continue, because I already had a game started. And then I have it on easy mode, you guys, so I have the arrows on the bottom to kind of help me out, just because otherwise I die right away every time. You can see I can run, dodge through. It gives you just a split second to make your moves, but not a whole lot of time. There we go, I died, it doesn't take long. I noticed that Dragon's Lair 2 is a lot easier than 1. Uh, Space Ace and Dragon's Lair 1, for some reason, are extremely difficult. I just wanted you guys to see, um, it's just a really easy option to get this game working without ponying up for the thousands of dollars that you need for the Laserdisc player. And then you have to try to track down the Laserdisc itself. Very, very hard. I have it on medium. I think if you put it on easier, it's a little easier. But great option, you guys. And you can find this game online to download, I'm sure, for sure, if you want to as well, so you don't have to get the disc. But it just it's nice to have the hard copy of the disc and download it in case there's any problems so you can re-download it if you need to. This part's one of my least favorite parts. Let's see if I made it. Oh, we're good. So there it is, guys. And then I wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a peek at the cabinet itself. So you guys can see, I actually ordered this artwork from a local print shop. Um, the marquee was $11. And I added this chrome trim to the cabinet because I thought it really made it pop. And then I actually got this artwork as well at a local print shop. It was only $13 for the side art. And then as far as the control panel goes, you guys, Again, I ordered it at a print shop and I had to go ahead and cut my own piece of MDF board because the original board uh, control panel, I should say, was metal. And I wanted to add a few extra buttons just because I added some extra games to this cabinet just to give it a little bit of versatility, but it does still have the Cinematronics logo on there. So let me back up just a little bit so you guys can see the full cabinet. But it looks really cool, you guys. So. I know not everyone's going to be able to find an original Dragon's Lair cabinet, but really any cabinet that you have that you want to turn into a Dragon's Lair, this just kind of gives you the option to do that. So let's go ahead and wrap this up, guys, now that you saw some gameplay on this. One more thing here, you guys, I really wanted to show you is that if you go to exit on the main menu, um, it brings you to this screen where you can see it's got Dragon's Lair, Dragon's Lair 2, um, it's got Space Ace on there. So if I go into select game, and then I can hit left or right, and it'll go to these other two games. So like for example, if I go to Space Ace, I just hit enter, and it's gonna take me into Space Ace. It also has the ability to go into extras on here, and then if I go into that, I can actually put the cabinet into attract mode. And then it plays the familiar cartoons you guys are used to when you see this in the arcade before you drop the quarters in. So just a really cool disc, really cool download for your PC that has all three games and is easy to hook up to actual arcade controls so that you can play it right on your arcade and you don't have to pony up for an actual Laserdisc player or wait for Arcade 1-Up, which some of you guys might not even get those because I know they're a limited release, but... I'll go ahead and head to the wrap up now guys, here we go. So there you have it guys, it's pretty cool, pretty straightforward, thanks for taking a look at that with me, it's a lot of fun to play. So keep in mind you guys, I appreciate you watching this video, but if you subscribe to the channel, 
Arcade Pickers is going to begin filming this coming week where I will be going out and hunting down arcade cabinets, retro gaming stuff from back in the 70s, 80s, 90s. My son, Jacob, who's only 13 years old, he will be grabbing PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, consoles, games, accessories. We're gonna collaborate the old school with the new school and we're gonna bring you guys along our journey not just in Arizona necessarily, but anywhere where we can find cool stuff to not only collect for ourselves, but we're gonna make it for sale to you guys on the Arcade Pickers website. So if you see us grab something on the show and you want it, you can go to the Arcade Pickers website and order it and either pick it up or we will ship it right to you, which makes this a fully interactive show that you can not only watch and enjoy at home, but you can get involved with and get the stuff that we pick on the show right in your own game room. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to comment if you have any questions for me about setting this up or if you have any um, questions for me about Arcade Pickers, feel free to go to our Facebook page and you can message me on there. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. We have so much good stuff coming your way. We're going to be hitting the highways here very soon with our cameras rolling. But that's it for me, guys. I'll talk to you next time. I'm out of here.